Orangey and uh, Obama. Nice you two save, really think ass. you are better at Wii Sports. We are goaded with the sauce, no cap. Did you fall and hit your head when they were taking you to jail? I'm going to take your mama to the ball, Sleepy. You know what she's going to say? Don't answer that. No what? Nothing. Because she'll be choking on this big black fire hose. Jesus Christ. What should we play first? Joseph, I challenge you first to a home run derby. You're on, you old fat bastard. That's not fair. Joe has whatever disease the minions from Despicable Me have. We should do a tournament. The Joes versus whatever the fuck you two are. You're on. About to fucking send these balls to space. Sleepy, I bet he gets less than five total. My boy can play. Let him cook. Your mouth is conveniently shaped for slurping cocks. I'd slurp yours if you let me. Bro's playing truth or dare by Whip. himself. Bro, you're supposed to get in their head, not put his head in yours. I hope that ball didn't have a family because they're never going to see him again. Obama, that's kind of like all the villages you bombed. My boy's catching fire. You like setting people on fire, don't you? Shit, he's good. Better start warming up. My fucking boy don't play around. No way he gets three in a row. Shit. Bro, he's really fucking good. So are you, bro. Believe in yourself. You two are so fucked. What the fuck is this? We're being set up. It's like taking candy from two fat idiots. He's sweating, Joey. No way he can keep this up. God damn it. It's over before it even started. Hey, batter, batter. Hey, batter, batter. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck. Don't let him get in your head, Donnie. Don't think about your grandma's ass crack and all the caked up grandma mud that's down there. And how your sweet old grandpa likes to take his tongue and make sexual butt missions to work off your grandma's butt mud. Come on, Donnie, make it seven. Why does my grandma have butt mud? Doesn't she wipe? Fuck, it's not working. Butt mud, dingleberries. Your grandma has dingleberries. Yeah, don't think about the old dripper she has still on there. Fuck, man. That's in the motherfucking parking lot. I put some heat on that motherfucker. You boys can't do shit to distract me. Joe, you need to fucking focus. We can't lose the first game. Make it nine. Good luck with that, you fucking midget. Whoa. Hey, man. It's little person, you fucking piece of shit. Oh, shit. Now he's mad. Watch the fuck out, crayon-looking motherfuckers. That's somehow racist, but I'm going to let it you slide this time. So Nine homers. That's unbeatable. You haven't seen my boy cook. Once he's in the kitchen, bad things happen. Ah, uh, look how little he is. They got the head shape perfect for your character. Growl. Don't you fucking growl at me. Let's go, Joe. What the fuck? That's bullshit. Nice try, Lamel. That's a great hit for someone your size. I connected dead on. Fuck this man. There you go, bro. Don't let those fucking losers get in your head. I believe in you, Joe. Well, this one's over. Me and Barack are going to go grab some snacks. Just you wait. Shit. You boys want anything? Hot Cheetos, please. All right, bet. They're gone. Do you know any cheats so we can win? Should I restart? Nah, bro, they would notice. Instead, let's do the power throws and bowling. And I know a cheat to strike the last set every single time. It's a dub no matter what. I love it, bro. Oh, shit, they're coming back. Act natural. Uh, we, 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 you, you, we, we, we. Ha, huh, Joe's doing so bad he put Sleepy to sleep. That's really not that hard to do. Fuck you guys. I was just resting my eyes. What game should we do next? Loser's pick. Well, it should probably be Obama versus Sleepy this time. How about we do the bowling game where each time you try to strike on more and more pins? Works for me. Are we going to do best out of five? Best out of seven? Let's do seven. Fuck, Mary kill. The Queen, Hillary Clinton, and Nancy Pelosi. Bro, Nancy Pelosi has the fucking heavies. Have you seen those things? What? No fucking way. Pull that shit up. Let's see. I have the picture saved in my spank bank. Hold up. Here, look at those fucking airbags. Jesus Christ, she doesn't need to wear a life jacket, I bet. I'd love to play with those fucking bazookas for an afternoon. Joe, six you runs, not bad. Man. Thanks, bro, but you better get ready for Sleepy's skills. He's an animal. Only animal he could be is a sloth. Fuck you, bro. Go watch the other shit on my channel and subscribe, you dirty motherfuckers. Boys ready to play some golf? Hells yeah, bro. What difficulty should we play on? Since I am an expert golfer, I think we should do expert. Your voice gives me the heebie-jeebies. Can't wait to smoke you again, Sleepy Joe. Eat my farts, and they're going to smell delicious because I just had a big bowl of chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. Shut up and take your dementia pills. Start us off strong, Joe. This hole is shaped like a severely deformed cock. The wind is 30 miles per hour. It's like playing in a hurricane. Sleepy Joe, didn't you play the first ever round of golf in 1235 BC with King Julius Caesar? Yeah, I also banged a dinosaur. Now that I think of it, it might have been your mom. Eat a dick. Hurry the fuck up. It's not that serious. Yeah, once I smoke your ugly old ass, you'll see why. How about we bring it down a level or two? How about I bring your mom some flowers and show her my sausage cannon? What purpose would a cannon that shoots sausages, huh? Ooh, you mean your willy. Who the hell says willy? Your mom when she asks, will he ever leave my damn basement? Or when your girlfriend asks, will he get any bigger, or is this it? Joe, your joke was funnier. Thanks. Thanks.
Joe, how about we call Sleepy Joe just Sleepy from now on? Yeah, hell no. Nobody asked you, Sleepy. All right, it's time to get serious. I need a dub under my belt. You'll win the award for most practice swings. Or win the Oompa Loompa Lookalike competition. Fuck this stupid wind in that tree, goddammit. Watch this one, bitch. Donald, I thought you were an expert. In real life, not with this white expert mode dildo. Jesus Christ, Joe, slow the hell down. He's built like a gorilla. He can't help himself, Sleepy. Says the guy who smacked the only tree possible. You can talk shit when you actually land one on the green. Did you bring some sandals to that beach? Sleepy, I'm going to fart so hard in your mouth while you're sleeping, people will think they are walking past a porta potty Bro, that's nasty. That shot was nasty. Nice one, bro. If you're going to suck his dick, at least let me leave the room first. Just because I'm not an asshole 24 7 doesn't mean I want to moisten his nozzle. Why do you always have to say something other than dick? It's weird, bro. Just say it. Hit the fucking ball, you dick. I see what you did there, little Mao. All that time wasted and still missed, big L, bro. Joe, you do everything like a gorilla. He hit that shit harder than you hit the Capitol building when you lost. Sleepy, you're on fire tonight. Just like Donald's crotch was after sleeping with Stormy Daniels. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Take a bite of these blonde pubes. The putt's like two feet. Hit it so we can move on already. I hate this next hole, especially when there's hurricane force winds. Well, let me show you how it's done. It's scary how accurate your me character is. His eyes aren't sleepy enough. Ah, uh, shit, I blasted that one. Jesus Christ, why is your Wii so damn laggy? Get bent, watch this one. That's looking good. This hole's impossible in this wind. I'm worse in the wind than Donald's crusty comb over. Shut the hell up, you little bridge troll. Let's see what you got, you moldy circus peanut. Shit. Slow the hell down. Lucky you got saved by the bunker. Now we gotta watch this fucking goof again. Looking better than last time. Did I just hit that damn rock? I couldn't tell because this Wii runs about as good as my dead grandma. Still in the lead, gonna stick this one close. That's about as close as you are to winning the election in 2024. You know, you aren't always supposed to be in the sand, right? Talk shit now, homie. Don't let me get hot. If he's orange now, what color do you turn when you're hot? Let me cook for a second, boys. If we let you cook, we're going to get served elk meat and growth hormone soup. Sleepy, you kind of look like Ellen DeGeneres in 20 years. Darn it, not enough power. How the hell is it me again? Because you suck harder than Stormy Daniels. At least you don't have to pay someone to suck for you. Easy par. Hit the damn ball, please, for the love of all that's holy. Calm down, you hairless orangutan. Nice par, Joe. What about me? Yours was shit. Looks like it's you and me, Joe, at the top, with Sleepy sucking it up in last as usual. I'm playing this one safe, and I'll let you buffoons fuck it up. Nice looking shot, Joe. I'm playing it safe, too, and I'll let my pure skill take me to victory. Sleepy, did you finish all the Oreo cookies, you fat ass? Yeah, I took out all the stuffing and made a huge cream tower. Your mom loves sucking on my cream tower. Oh, Mao, nice one, Joe. I don't get it. How? Never mind. Screw it, I'm going for the final island. That's risky business, Mr. Rogan. Holy shit, and you stuck it. Damn, bro, I gotta do something magical to match that. Let's see what you got. Ain't no way. Damn it. That's short. Yeah, no shit. I'm coming for you, Joe. Everything you say is so sus. I think that's a little too hard. Bro really is a sussy baka. Both of you make like a tree and fuck off. Come on, Sleepy. You gotta make it if you wanna beat the Don. It's on the island, at least. Just barely on, I can beat that? Yeah, let's see it then, bitch. Why the hell did they put me in the rough? Mao, no way you can make it now. Bro, you gotta go to the island beside you. You're gonna throw. This game fucking sucks. Guess I'm taking the pussy route. I thought you missed again. Take a nap, Sleepy. Looks like it's the expert shot for the fourth time in a row. You guys are dicks. God fucking damn it. Can he make it on his sixth try? Shit. This is sad. Bro, come on. You're not even trying anymore. I will end you, you old bag of mustard. That's gone too. 
Stop, stop, fuck. Bro Rage quit and we go. Oh, Mao, it made the expert quit. Eat a dick, I'm going home. Come on, bro, don't leave, we're sorry. Melania, can you pick me up? What a pussy. I'm at Joe's. Yeah, the fucking bald guy. Well, I guess it's just you and me now, Sleepy. He's the dick, right? It's not our fault. Yeah, bro, don't. Wait, he's coming back. You're back? Yeah, forgot my damn AirPods. Are you still mad? Yes. Fuck you. Damn. Who are we going to play the rest of the Wii games with? I'll post it on my Snapchat story and see if anyone wants to come over. Sounds good. He was being a cocky little shit. I'm glad he lost. Yeah, me too. But good game, bro. Looks like you're taking the W on this one. Two in a row. I'm pretty much unbeatable at this point. Calm down, you cocky little shit. Damn, bro. Just kidding. Oh, shit. Obama said he's down to play. Perfect, bro. I can't wait. Trump, you really want to face me in boxing? Easy dub, bro. Boy in the striped ojamas, do you want to be commentators for this match with me? Sure, bro. Let's do it. So are we just trying to knock as many bags as we can? Hello, and welcome to the first ever cool. boxing arm match. I'm here with my good buddy, Obama. Say hi to the people of Blonia. I regret this already. First, we have Joe standing at a whopping four feet, three inches. Frig off, Sleepy. How do you think Joe's going to do old football? He seems like a very balanced fighter with a strong right hand. Looks that way as a massive straight right launches the bag from his hobbit-like structure. I'm not that short. Perfect one, too. Gets rid of the cloth bag easily. How do you see this match ending up Sloppy Joe? It's going to be close. One fighter has the stature of an ant, but the heart of a lion. The other is orange as a summer sunset. This is so cringy. Slow start on those cloth bags. You know he was wanting more out of those. A perfect one-two can knock those straight to the back of the room. Is that the biggest issue you're seeing in his performance right now? I would say so. His balance is great being he is so close to the ground. But those power punches could really use some practice. I agree. More patience could take him a long way as he snipes the bag off those chains with a dangerous low right hook. We need to see some more of those. He can be so dangerous when he takes those shots low and to the corner of the bag. Time's winding down. Now that we've seen most of our first competitor, what can you tell us about this matchup? Well, speed is his most valuable asset. He's built like a machine gun that was hit by a shrink ray. He's not the most powerful, but he's fast on that bag, has great stamina, and can really take one down when he needs to. I couldn't agree more. Time is running down on this round as he has some great finishing punches. Let's kick it over to our field reporter, Ben. Thanks, gentlemen. I'm here with Joe, who just had a beautiful performance. Do you think 29 will put some pressure on Donald? I hope so. Some punches didn't connect as clean as I would have wanted, but I left it all out on the field. Back and to I you in the studio, boys. I wasn't done. Didn't ask. Great job as always, Ben. Trump is looking very loose out there. Any advantages you think he can use to win today? Conserving his energy has to be number one. Staying loose will help not use everything on the first few bags. And as we can see, a significant height and strength difference as he easily takes care of those first two bags. What are Donald's keys to victory here today? As you said, conserving energy, nobody wants to see him sweat off all that orange crap on his face. Second is his advantage on the heavy bags. If he can take care of those as well as he has done so far, it would be a clear victory for Mr. Frump. Truly outstanding on those cloth bags. Real time saver there. Now I'm going to send it over to Ben, who's with TV personality Dr. Phil. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Mr. Mustache himself, Dr. Phil. Don't call me that. It's just so glorious. What are your thoughts on the match so far? These boys can really bang. As a man who can throw some hands, it's really cool to see these boys giving it their all and fighting for that victory. Last question. Can I touch it? Get this little rat away from me. I'll touch it soon. Back to you in the studio. Please stop trying to touch Dr. Phil. Time is running down. Three easy cloth bags in a row. Can he do it? He's got to put everything into these next 10 seconds. He is moving like a tremendous machine. Can he do it? Can he find the fight in his heart for the victory? It comes down to this. What will it be? It's a tie. A tie. A tie. A tie? A tie? A tie? Please just let me pet it. No, get away from me. In a dramatic turn of events, the event has ended as a draw. I can't believe it. We need a rematch. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a rematch or what games you want us to play. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, everybody. You want to do power throws in bowling? I'm down, dog. Which one is that? You start at 10 and work your way up to more and more pins. No way this old man can outthrow my boy. Sleepy has been putting on some muscle. You should see him ripping the balls down the lane. Yeah, I got that dog in me for real, for real. Why is he talking like that? I'm about to hit these pins so hard they're going to file a class action lawsuit against me. Pins ain't got lawyers, you tripping, homie. Seriously, can you stop? Stop what faux shizzle. Talking like a 1990s gangster, it's disturbing. Jill just let me subscribe to the MTV YouTube page, and I've been binging Jersey Shore. Nice shot, Obama. So how about you cool your jets and hop off my jock before I slap you upside the head, bruh? Sleepy, we might be in trouble. Obamner is looking pretty cash right now. You're damn right I am. Nah, bro, I'm getting some total negative energy coming from that direction. It ain't flowing right with me. Okay. So, Trumpy, what have you been up to? I've started watching Barry. It's a show about some guy who... Wait, Sleepy. What's crack -a What do you mean that Jill just let you start watching MTV? There was a child lock on my computer. 
She locked me out of all the good stuff. You're the President of the United States with a child lock on your computer? She has strict parental locks on everything with internet access. You're the President of the United States and can't watch ridiculousness? No, I can watch that. I love Rob Durdick and all the hilarious videos on that show. But that's on MTV too? Yeah, but that one's PG, so I can watch those ones as long as Jill or Brucey are in the room with me. Who's Brucey? That's Jill's friend. They like to go up to the residence sometimes and have secret bedroom meetings. Oh, buddy. What? Are you allowed in the secret bedroom meetings? No, but they sound fun. There's a lot of yelling and rustling going on in there. I hope someday to be invited in. Oh, man, I'm sorry, buddy. It's okay. I'm just glad I get to watch some more raunchy shows. Sweet home Alabama, you need to get another strike to secure the victory. I know I'm a little bit off today. You can't be off and face off against the Bowling King. Damn straight. Bowling King? Yeah, right. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you heard me. What if I told you that there's a secret and it will 100% guarantee my victory in this game? Well, I would call you a liar, liar, plants for hire. It's true. He used it against me a few weeks ago. No, it can't be true. Are you talking about throwing the ball down the railing on the last throw? No. That's definitely not true. I saw a YouTube video a long time ago that talked about that myth. And it's been disproven. You can try it. But you'll surely fail and lose. Why do you always talk like you're telling a ghost story? Shut up, you little bag of mustard-flavored pistachio shells. 442 pins, Sleepy. Beat that. I will, bro. Watch me. Sleepy might be the best bowler I've ever seen. Yeah, right. A few months ago, he could barely keep the ball on the lane. People can change. Bro, you missed the first one. I think I might have thrown the ball a little too hard. You did put some sauce on that one, but there's no way you beat my boy if you can't hit the first one. Or the second one. This one's over. Just give up. Don't listen to him, Sleepy. Just focus, and I know you can do this. Here goes nothing. Come on, fall baby. Oh yeah. That's the biggest cheese I've ever seen in my life. Total luck, no skill involved in that. Oh, he's got the angles down now. It's over for you, Oblama. Oh, that's a for sure ski right there. No luck needed. Are you kidding me? That was all luck. At this rate, I won't even need the end secret. Bro, that's a total myth. I can't believe you fell for that. I know for a fact it's real. Yeah, and how do you know that? Because he did it against me. No way. I had the best round of my life, four strikes. I had a 130 pin lead, and Sleepy only had one throw left. He needed the luckiest throw in the world to win. And then, I see him slide his little sleepy ass towards the corner of the court and drop the straightest throw I've ever seen right down the middle of the barrier. And before I knew it, all of the pins were on the ground and Sleepy was victorious. What? It can't be true. Tell me you're lying. It was the most spectacular thing I've ever seen. It's 100% true. I can't believe it. Well, believe it. This was all a setup so me and Joe could get a for sure win. I can't believe you would do that to your friends. There's no friends in bowling, only winners and losers. Turn off the Wii Donald. It can't end like this. Gah! Don't you even think about it. You, you hit me. Now sit down and take the loss like a man. That really hurt. Well, don't touch my shit. Here it is, boys. Get ready to lose. I still think it's fake. Show him sleepy. Ah, it's just like the story. 20 bucks says it doesn't work. There's no way. They wouldn't lie about something this big. Here it goes. Oh God, I can't watch. It's perfect. Nothing's happening. What the hell? I knew it. God, you almost gave me a heart attack. Told you it was bullshit. No, it works, I swear. Well, that's two losses in a row. You can't even cheat and win. You guys are going down on the next Which one. Which one is this? The one with the targets on the wall you have to hit. So are we doing best team score wins? Yeah, me and Sleepy versus Don and Bomber. Seems fair to me. Yeah, because you don't have this little dried up Crazenet on your team. I'm unfamiliar with Crazenets. It's a mix between a raisin and a cranberry. I'm running out of ways to call them orange. Well, I don't think we ever used carrot. Basketball. Or maybe apricots. Boiled yams. Fanta orange. Bell peppers. Papayas. Fresh caught salmon flesh. All right, we get it. I gotta write that down somewhere. Look at my boy Joey go, he's a natural. He's giving that wall some punishment. What's a good score on this? I'd be pretty happy if I got to 10. Well, I once got to 37, so I'd say upper 20s is pretty mid. Ooh, he's losing it. Keep her controlled. I'm trying, it's really hard to aim. Sounds like me in the morning trying to use the wood. Am I right, guys? Okay, cool. Nine is not too bad, Joey. Thanks, I'm pretty pleased with that. Sweet, I'm up. Keep it nice and easy, Donnie. I got this, bro, just watch. All right, let's see it. I'll bet he gets less than five. Yeah, right, my boy has talent. Yeah, look at this accuracy. Easy, oh Jesus. No! Well, that's awkward. Wow, real nice, you burning pile of leftover salmon flesh. I tried my hardest, I swear. Why did you hit it 90 miles an hour? What did you think would happen? I was nervous and excited, I'm sorry, and I didn't sleep too well last night. Why didn't you sleep well? Well, you know Jared Fogle, the subway guy? 
Yeah, he lost 245 pounds by having an active lifestyle and eating Subway veggie melts. Yeah, exactly. I watched a HBO documentary about him late last night while munching on a bag of garlic herb croutons. You eat croutons as a snack? Not important. The documentary was really scary. And Melania just stacked some freshly dried clothes in my closet that in the right light looked like he was standing in my closet. It was terrifying. So you're blaming your performance on the imaginary appearance of Jared Fogle, the subway guy in your closet. Yeah, that pretty much covers it. You're going to let him off the hook just like that? Everybody in life deserves a second chance. Trumpy, do you believe in that too? I do. It's important that we learn to forgive. OK, well, I have a confession. What is it? Come clean and get my forgiveness. You know how your cat went missing a few weeks back? Yeah, do you know where she's at? Well, I hit her with my lawnmower. You what? She was frolicking. The grass was kind of high. I felt a bump. Next thing I knew, there was red chunks flying out. You son of a bitch! Trump, remember what we talked about. How could you do that to Katy Perry? She kind of did it to herself, not gonna lie. Where are her remains? Her leftover chunks. You're walking a thin line. Well, I raked her up with some grass cuttings and put it in my compost pile. In a compost pile? Yeah, and it worked pretty well. Weren't those fresh tomatoes just so good on your salad today? Yeah! Oh, shit. Run, Joey. Get back here. Uh... Did you know about that? No, but Sleepy was acting pretty sketchy when we were putting up the missing posters. Now that you say that, wait, is that my lawnmower? Let's see how you like it. No! We better get outside before they kill each other. Yeah, but first, can you tell people to subscribe? Get away from me. Never! Like and subscribe. Okay, let's go. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Say you're sorry. You're going down sleepy. I've been practicing. Yeah, right, bro. Let's let the discs do the talking. Why did we choose this stupid game? There's so many better ones. Shut up, Trumpy Dumpty. Look at that fucking piss missile. Damn, bro. You're in trouble, Obama. Yeah, right. That was dog shit. Wait for mine. I once saw my man throw a dinner plate and hit a kid on a bike 120 yards away. Is that true? Yeah, kind of a sad story. He's paralyzed from the waist down now. Yeah, I think I saw that on the news. Loki thought you were joking, but go off, King. That's how you chuck a frisbee right there. Things gonna soar for miles. Damn, bro, I guess it is true what they say. And what's that sleepy? That the blacks are better at sports. Whoa! Bro. What the fuck, man? What, it's true. Yeah, but you're not allowed to say it. Thanks for making it awkward, sleepy. Let's just forget about it. That's a heck of a throw. Should set myself up nice for the birdie. Yeah, that's a heck of a comeback. I have a question for you guys. Who do you think is the all-time goat of any sport? That's an easy one. It has to be Tiger Woods. He was dominant for so many years and was untouchable. Yeah, but it's golf. Not like there was much competition. Holy shit. Wait a second. Go, go. That's right online. No fucking way. Holy shit, dude. Come on, get there. Yes, let's fucking go. Take that, you old sleepy bastard. Dude, that's amazing. Nice shot. Probably was imagining that kid on the bike again. Yeah, well, let me close the gap with this birdie. You got this, bro. But back to the goat conversation again. In my opinion, it has to be Michael Jordan. Shit. Not only is basketball the most competitive sport in the world, but he was so agile and athletic that no one could stop him. Bro, Michael Jordan isn't even the GOAT of basketball. With LeBron having more points than him now, he is surely the GOAT. First off, Joe, you gotta throw it flat if you wanna make the putt. I'm on the fucking struggle bus Secondly, right now, Secondly, you've Holy said shit. a lot of stupid things in your life, but I think that argument tops it. Well, let's can that one for right now. What about Ronaldo and Messi? Don't you think they could be put in the conversation? Maybe Messi after he won the World Cup, but it's not convincing to me. Joe, is one of them your goat? No, the obvious answer is John Jones. He's an absolute monster and the baddest man on the planet. He snorts cocaine off of Hooker's boobs the night before the fight and still demolishes anyone who steps in his way. That's pretty true, but I don't know if he's the goat of goats. Wait, shut up for a second. I think I did it again. There's no way. Maybe Obama is the goat of goats, holy shit. This is fucking bullshit. This guy is so lucky. It's all skill, motherfucker. I'm done. This is fucked. No, come on, man. Sleepy, who do you think the goat is? That's an easy one. Michael Phelps, most gold medals, a rocking bot, unstoppable in Beijing. The Olympics is the greatest show of athleticism in the world, and he is the best. So I got to go with Phelpsy. That answer was pretty sus, but honestly, some good logic. Boys, this game is fucking stupid. Can't we do bowling or something fun? Fuck off. I have to finish out this game. I'm crushing it. Must be nice. Speaking of goats, who do you think the greatest president of all time is? If you say yourself, I'm going to choke slam your ass. I would have to go with old boy George Washington. He could have stayed president longer, but he didn't. And he really set America on the right track. We might have been fucked if it weren't for him. I gotta say, Lincoln was the best. All things he did in his time as president, like freeing the slaves and others, really puts him in the lead in my books. Obama is my goat. He was our first black president and, uh, wait, I know this one. Never mind, I forgot. 
Don't forget about all those Yemen fuckers he blew up. Fuck you guys, I did some good shit. Can you guess who my goat is? Probably yourself. No, Sleepy, it's actually you. Oh, really? As the only man to ever beat me, it must be that you are the goat. That's actually kind of sweet. Psych, you old sleepy sack of shit. Fuck it, I'm done. Come on, Sleepy. I've had enough of this bullshit. Do you always have to be such an asshole? No, but it's kind of fun. I can take over for Sleepy if you want to finish this game. No, he's right. This game does suck. Let's go play something else. I have cards against humanity if you want to play that. Yes, please. Once Joe cools off for a bit, we can play. Sounds good, Stop. taking on my boy Donnie. Nobody wants this smoke for real, for real. Joe's gonna clap you harder than he clapped your mama. I'ma smoke you harder than Snoop Dogg smoking a double-decker blunt. Bro, I'm like Tony Hawk on that water. It's a privilege just to watch me work. We'll see about that cheesy gordita-looking mother effer. What's a gordita? It's on the Taco Bell menu. It's literally not. I'm looking at it right now. Shut up, you idiot sandwich. Can we cool it with the food insults you're making me hungry? Yeah, and it's time to watch the performance of a lifetime. I don't see Meryl Streep anywhere. What does that have to do with anything, you triple cheese lasagna looking bitch? Meryl Streep is the only person that's going to show me the performance of a lifetime. Does she have giant knockers or something? I don't get it. Bro, how do you not know Meryl Streep? The devil wears Prada, Mamma Mia. I don't watch any adult films like you pervs, I guess. Anybody watching this perfect run? No, shut up. This is more important. Here, give me a second. All I'm seeing is houses for sale on Mandel Street in New Jersey. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my God, Meryl Streep with a P, you uncooked hot dog. Oh, let me try that. Nope, never seen her before. Jesus Christ. But she's hot, right? In like an intimidating older stepsister type of way? I wouldn't say so. She's pretty old. That's pretty ironic coming from you, you old fart. Shut up and let the men talk, little boy. Damn, Joey, feel the burn. Tell me honestly, Meryl Streep comes up to you on the street and offers to fondle your nooks and crannies. Are you telling her no? Jill gets into my nooks and crannies just fine, thank you. Pretend Jill doesn't exist. Well, that's not a world I'd want to live in. Play along, you cheeseless pizza. Fine, sure, I'd let her all up in my business. So you agree that she is hot? No, I just don't like telling people no. Fine, how about this? Meryl Streep and an old dirty homeless lady comes up to you, says they want to feel your gibbets. You can either choose one or the other. Which are you choosing? Can I make it a party and invite both? This guy hurts my brain. Can we bring it back to the game? I can't concentrate with you guys talking about old ladies tickling your precious packages. Fine. Nope, one more question. Bang, fondle, or tickle Meryl Streep, Joe's mom, Joe's older sister, Cynthia? Could we not? Well, Joe's mom has those absolute cannons. I'd like to take those mommy milkers out for a fondle. Cynthia has a great personality and an even thicker dump truck, so I'm going to bang her, and I'm going to tickle Meryl Streep. Why are you tickling Meryl Streep? Well, from what I heard from you guys, she has a great personality. And what better way to become friends than a tickle fight? That's pretty fair. Joe, I don't think just over a thousand is going to beat me. Well, you clowns were talking the whole time and didn't watch how good I had to do to get that high. It was a pretty mid-performance, to be fair. Imagine Sleepy calling you middle Mao. I'm up. Give me that controller, and I'll show you how it's done. So what did you guys think of Taylor Swift's new album? Joe, can you shut up for once and just concentrate on the game? You gotta be kidding me. You have such great balance on that board. Wow, nice trick. Show us what you can do, Donnie. I've been practicing this 360. Watch this. That's incredible. I would never be able to do that one. The game literally does it for you. Wow, somebody's jealous. I'm not jealous. You assholes were talking the whole time during my run. Now you're not talking and Donnie can focus on hitting the best tricks. Yeah, well, he's ripping flips out there. Maybe your performance just wasn't inspired enough. This might be my new record. I gotta take a piss. Weird flex, but okay. What's wrong with him? I think it's one of those male periods where you bleed out your butt. Fuck. Is he watching what I think he's watching in there? That man has a problem. Bro's really beating out his problems? To be fair, that happens to me when I look at Meryl Streep too long, too. It worries me that he didn't come out of the bathroom yet. Do you think he's, you know, evicting the testicular squatters? On a date with Pamela Henderson? Beating the bishop? Chalking the chicken? Performing the five-finger shuffle? Going fishing with the man in the boat? Hand-to-gland combat? Holding your sausage hostage? Jerking the gherkin? Lubing the tube? One-handed baseball? Slapping the salami? Stroking the one-eyed snake? Wax on, whack off? Badgering the witness? Buff the banana? Butter the corn? Clear the snorkel? Crank the love pump? Cuddle the kielbasa? Date Mrs. Palmer and her five daughters? Distributing free literature? Feed the ducks? Fiddle the flesh flute? Genital stimulation via phalangetic motion? Shit, he's coming back! Hey, guys. Hey. How was your piss? Good. It was, um, very good. Nice. Trump, I see you're gonna beat me. Let me shake your hand. Great job, man. Ew, 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 get that nasty thing away from me. What? Why? We know what you were doing in there. What was I doing? Peeling the banana. Playing five against one. 
polishing the rocket? Seriously, guys, I wasn't priming the pump. You weren't pulling the baloney pony? No. You weren't relishing the hot dog? Nope. You weren't shifting gears in there? Of course not. Do you really think that low of me that I would squeeze the cheese dog with my boys over? We just heard some noise and expected the worst. I'll shake your hand. Good gam. What in the actual fuck is on your hands? Oh God, please don't be baby batter. I'm gonna barf if that's cock snot. You're gonna die if that's boink juice. It's water, I swear. It better you wanna be. wanna do archery bam lamb I have to warn you, I am a sniper. Joey, do you wanna do commentary? That looked fun last time. I'm down, bro. Let's do it. Let's get it started, boys. We have old Sleepy Joe up first on the first stage, an easy 10 meter shot. How's the weather looking out there, Don? It's a calm, sunny day with barely any wind, which is good so we don't have to smell Sleepy's old man cologne. It's literally Gucci, eat a butt. Wow, a perfect 10. Tell me a little bit about what you see in Sleepy's shot. He has a surprisingly steady hand for a dinosaur. He has a very quick draw that does show some confidence in his abilities. Very true. Another quick 10 from Sleepy who's looking for the perfect score of 30. And he gets it. What a performance from Sleepy Joe. Just incredible. Next up, we have none other than Obama, who I've heard has been nicknamed Robin from the hood. Screw you, bro. What do you expect to see from this old sack of lard today? I'd want to see some carefully calibrated accuracy from the man. He needs to get at least a 29-pointer to stay in the game. Very true. As you can see from that first shot, there's a lot more shakiness in that shot. Do you think this will affect him in the later rounds? As the distance and wind picks up, I don't have much confidence he will be able to perform at this incredibly high standard. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to see where the day takes us. He has the perfect score so far, and he sticks the last arrow, matching Sleepy Joe's perfect round of 30. Let's send it down to Steve Harvey for a report on our next stage. Thanks, boys. This next stage is only five yards further with a slight increase in wind. Let's see how these boys can adjust. Thank you, Steve. Sleepy just a little bit low on the first shot. Do you think his old man hands are having trouble handling the weight of the bow, Donnie? It's possible. It's hard to believe a man who was around for the invention of the wheel doesn't know his way around a bow and arrow. I guess we'll just have to see how the rest of the round plays out. Looks like Sleepy is gonna walk away with a 27. A little disappointing this early in the game. Does Obama have the skills necessary to take advantage of this poor performance? This man has a lot of potential. A man with the nickname Robin from the hood surely needs to show he can live up to those expectations. Please stop calling me that. A very near miss on the first shot. The shaking has seemed to steady. Possible nerves on the first stage for Obama? It could be. Obama is facing one of the pioneers of archery who lived with the cavemen whose first language was hieroglyphics. The sheer experience of his opponent would cause even the strongest men some nerves. Great insight. They finish even again. Let's toss it down to Steve for some more information on stage three. I said no mayonnaise, they slathered it on there. Steve? And there's 13 pickles. Who needs that many pickles on a burger? Steve, we're live here, buddy. Hold on, yes, I want to talk to the manager. Put him on now. While Steve is dealing with his lunch, we see Sleepy's first shot going a little too high. And a classic compensation that leaves the second shot low. There's a door opening here for Obama who can take advantage of the situation. Do you think he can step up to the plate? I think so. As that shot narrowly misses the 10 zone, there's a lot of room Obama can make up in this round. We'll get to see what he's really made of I here. clearly said no mayonnaise. Please tell me why there's an ice cream scoop of it on my burger. Steve, your mic's still on, buddy. Shit, sorry, gentlemen. Sorry about that, everyone. Great start for the O-bomber, placing one barely in the nine zone. Great start here. Can he keep the ball rolling or will he fold under the pressure? Bang! The perfect shot shoots him into the lead over Sleepy Joe. That may be the most clutch shot in the history of Wii Sports Resort archery. Has to be a huge confidence booster for the man. And another nine! That shot gave him a two-point lead heading into the final stage. Now let's go to Steve with final coverage. For anybody wondering, I did get to enjoy my burger after scraping the mayonnaise off the bun and feeding the pickles to a family of nearby geese. Not what I was looking for in the slightest. For the final stage, we have Obama taking the first shots, letting one go that looks low. And it is. A six opens the door for Sleepy six. Joe to take full advantage. He takes the next shot back with shaky hands and releases another one low. A little bit better, but not at all what he was hoping for in this final round. Can he make the adjustment? Wow, a last second stoppage. Either a smart move or the situation is really catching up to him. And a very clutch shot, almost getting the 10 but settling for a nine. Let's see how Sleepy Joe can adjust to the situation. For the win, all he needs is a 26 and with the experience he has, I like his odds. In a situation like this, it shows the resiliency inside of you. You have one shot, one opportunity. Will you catch it or just let it slip? Great quote, his first arrow makes up a few points. He needs at least an eight or better on these next two shots. He lines it up and it looks great. A nine is perfect. All he needs now is an eight or better for the win. My knees are shaking, can he do it? 
Does Sleepy Joe have the clutch gene that all great athletes possess? And a bullseye. What a comeback victory for Sleepy Joe. Wow, man, what a shot. You deserve that win for sure. I think there's a brown stain in my underwear. What a game, guys. Great job to the both of you. Seriously, that was the most excited I've been in a long time. I just got a fine for feeding pickles to that family of geese. Just eat them yourself next time, you bozo. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. See you next time. What do we want to start with? I'm thinking bowling. That's my favorite. Run that shit, my boy. Let's go. Sounds good. I made you guys some me's. Do you have any other controllers? No, just this one. You should have told me. I have two more at my house I almost brought. That's all right. We can just pass it around. We both heard that juicy Chipotle shart you had a few minutes ago and didn't hear the sink. Go wash your hands, you numpty. Speaking of sweaty, Joe has the pro ball and we don't. Not fair. Let me concentrate. And don't touch anything until you wash those sharp particles off your stinky paws. Nice looking throw, Joseph. Where's the spin? Unlucky. Stop thinking about Joe's wet shark wedgie and rock this spare. Easy money. Joe. Uh, what? There's no towel in here to dry my hands. Wipe them on your pants and come watch the master at work. You know what I just realized? What, Joseph? You have the same complexion as a goldfish cracker. El Mao. Look at this absolute tryhard going for the massive spinner. Joseph, there is something wrong with this controller. It's not spinning. Sounds like a skill issue to me. Flick that wrist some more. It'll work. I'm grabbing some Mountain Dews. Do you guys want one? Only if you have bendy straws. I don't want to cut my lip on the can again. Hey, him, pussy. It's your turn, Joe. I'm about to smoke these pins. Here you go, Don. I'm setting yours on the banister, Joe. Thanks, bro. I'm about to send this sucker 80 miles an hour right down the middle. Pipe that sucker. Shit. Lamau, bro, thought you played this game before. Fuck you, watch this. You could get more speed off those ramps they give to five-year-olds. That was embarrassing. Warm-up shot. At this rate, you might break a hundred. Jesus Christ, skip the damn replay. I like to watch. I bet you five bucks you don't hit this spare. Where's the move button? Hit the arrows, you fidiot. It's like watching a fish trying to eat a ham sandwich. I hope your pillow is warm tonight. Oh my god, Joe, you're so incredibly bad. Wait, here's the late turn. Oh my god, if this lucky bastard hits this, I'm done. Come on, come on, baby, turn for daddy. If you call yourself daddy again, I'm sending you down that staircase covered in Vaseline. Only if I can go down in just my undies. Remind me again why you invited this old hair sniffer. Bro, if you want to throw hands, step outside and we can get it on. You'd like that, wouldn't you? I'm not getting anywhere near that unwiped stench trench. Boy, shut the hell up and concentrate on the game. Joe? What? Do you have vanilla ice cream? Maybe. Why? I want a root beer float. I'm surprised you didn't ask for chocolate chocolate chip. I brought that for dessert. All right, Joseph, let's make this interesting. What about me? What's the bet? Loser has to let the winner post anything they want on Instagram. Joe, you want in? I love it. Let's do this, boys. I'm in, too. Joe, you got to pick it up. Yeah, bro, you're way behind. Watch this absolute piss missile. Oh, shit, watch out. I love watching them spin like that, old Mao. All right, I got this. Show them who's boss. Hey, you almost had your first decent throw. I'll take a nine. Miss this and it's over before it started. All right, she's got to go dead straight. Looking good. Oh, no, here comes the late turn. Shit, I'm warning you boys now I'm about to turn on sicko mode. Joe, start thinking of what we can post on his Instagram. Does that strat of starting on the first dot actually work? Yeah, bro, try it. You just throw it straight and she curves right back every time. Wow, that was absolute highway robbery. Should have been a strike. Easy spare, though. I have a question for you guys. What's up? Would you rather have to fight a gorilla every morning or everything you think happens? Clarification on the gorilla. How many pounds are we talking? Between 300, 400 pounds. You have to fight a new one every day so you don't learn tricks on how to beat it. I'm going to go with everything that you think happens. Bro, you got to remember all the terrible thoughts you have. If you get caught lacking, it's going to be bad. On the way here, I heard something in the trunk and assumed I was about to get strangled with some old rope. And when trying to get myself free, I went 70 miles an hour, full tilt into a full playground. I got to go with the gorilla. When fighting the gorilla, is it a fight to the death? Yes, but the gorilla will just severely wound you until you can't fight. You're unkillable in the gorilla fight. But the only way to get him to stop is to kill the gorilla, yes. That sounds like a hassle. Boys, I have a good one. Fuck, Mary, kill, Ice Spice, Kim K, Stormy Daniels. Easy. Fuck, Ice Spice, Mary, Kim K, kill, Stormy Daniels. Yeah, I'm with you, Joe. And what's with these splits? This game wants me to lose. Joe, we should give him a 20-pin handicap to make it closer. I'm good with that. And look at that absolute beauty. Um, mm -hmm. Keep it in your pants, Joseph. Jesus. Who stole my damn bendy straw, you dickweeds? Is it Thanksgiving? Because I smell a turkey.
How can one man be so cringy? Watch your back, Donald. I'm climbing. Don't call it a comeback. Only way you're going to get comeback is if you scrape mine off your mom's teeth. Joe, I think he bowls better when he's angry. Doesn't matter. I'm not missing a single pin the rest of the game. Look here. Sleepy Joe finally decides to wake up. I'm here to kick ass and drink Mountain Dew. And I'm all out of Mountain Dew. Are we actually... We had 12 in the fridge. There's more. Just personally, I'm out. Can you grab me another one? Yeah, I got you. Right after I slam this strike down. Joe, I think he's unbeatable at this point. It's between you and me now. Catch out, motherfuckers. Slow down on the Dew, brother. All right, boys. Last frame. It's all down to this. Donald, can we make a truce that no waners or balls get posted on the gram? I can agree to that. My palms are sweaty as hell. Hope you didn't have mom's spaghetti for dinner. Oh, shit. That should be a spare. Come on, Donald. Hold it together. That's perfect. This is going to be a close one. I think a strike will keep you in the top two. Don't think about boobs, boobs, boobs. No, the boobs betrayed me. Joe, you have to get at least a spare. You got this, bro. Whose side are you on, Joseph? Come on. Big money, big money, big money. Oh, God, I can't watch. Oh, man, that's so unlucky. You can still hit that Joe. Easy shot. Let's go. No. Oh, man, that was so close. That was so much fun. What do you guys want to play next? Before we do anything else, Joe, we get to post something to your gram. A bet's a bet, as long as we get to play golf next. Works for me. Don and I are going to go figure out what to post. Good game, bro. Let's do teams. Me and Obama versus Joe and Sleepy. I'm down for that. My jumper is wet with the sauce, no cap. He's probably about to say some dumb shit about corn pop. Shut up, you crusty Dorito bag. Boys, we sure this is fair? This is my best game. Yeah, don't sleep on me and Sleepy. I think old Sleepy does enough sleeping for the both of you. You're going down worse than the last election. Chill out and watch the master at work. Don't let my boy get hot. Hopefully he doesn't drop as many bombs as he did in Yemen. Fuck you, Sleepy bitch. That shot's smoother than Donnie's bald spot. Look who's talking, bro. I could use your head as a fucking mirror. Shut the hell up or I'm going to grab you by the pussy. We're teammates. We already have them on their toes, Joey boy. Oh shit, I said not to let him get hot. Sleepy, we might be in trouble. Don't worry, bro. Just like Corn Pop used to say, the best again. way to be is to... Um, what? Sleepy, you all right, buddy? Yeah, you just give me a minute. Um, Long day, I think he needs a nap. Um, I told him he shouldn't drink that um, milk before bedtime. Um, Always puts his ass right to sleep. Um, he kind of snores um, like a lawnmower. How do you expect to um, beat us with this clown on your team? Fuck you. Um, Did he just say fuck you from the shadow um, realm? Bro, wake his ass up. I think he's up next. Um, sleepy? Sleepy? Wake up, buddy. Huh? Jill? Where the fuck am I? Nobody gonna comment on me dropping a fat 24 on your asses. Oh shit, I'm up. Give me that controller. Watch what my boy can do when he's well rested. Bro really took a 15 second power nap. Honestly, really impressive. This one goes out to Corn Pop. Jesus Christ. Holy shit, he really is wet with the sauce. Let my boy cook, holy shit. Full rack motherfuckers, suck my motherfucking dick. My man is like a fine wine, getting better with old age. You're getting me all hot and bothered, calm down. These two are fucked. I bet you two like to watch The Bachelorette on a rainy Friday night and cuddle together with some buttered popcorn. We do. Suck a basket of moldy frog cocks, you raggedy old umbrella licker. The fuck was that insult, Joe? You look like the Pringle mascot if he took testosterone and liked to fuck sheep. The only thing I like to fuck is your mom's hairy boner garage. If she doesn't shave her bush soon, it might do 9-11. Oh, wow. Bro, don't get me started on your ugly old ass. You were created from the dust when the meteor killed the fucking dinosaurs. Bro, let's just be honest. Shave your fucking head. We all know that hairline starts on the top of your head. I'll fucking strangle you, you fucking skinhead dick muncher. Bro, chill. They're trying to get under your skin, so we lose. I could kick a hole in a fucking wall. Take a deep breath. There you go, buddy. Pussy. Fuck you! Guys, come on. Airball. Just concentrate. There you go. Fucking bullet. Bro's gonna kill a spectator with that shot. I'm gonna break this fucking TV. Bro, just relax and focus on the shot. Huh. Huh. Motherfucker! Bro, you gotta shoot wild. I know how to do it. You say one more thing and this controller is going in your fucking asshole. Jesus Christ. Ah, ah shit. I think he's broken again, guys. I haven't been this angry since Joe stole the election. Calm down, bro. It'll be all right. It's not the game, it's something else. What is it, bro? You can tell us. We're always here for you, bro. Well, I'm sorry, this is very hard for me. It's all right, bro, take your time. This girl I'm seeing, I think she might be a man. What? Yeah, she's, well, I guess they, they're really nice and sweet and they make me really happy. Well, that's great, I'm happy for you. Why do you think they're a man? Well, she, fuck. 
They have really big back muscles and they have kids, but there's no pictures of them being pregnant. Bro, what's their name? If you say what I think you're going to say, you're done. Michelle. Ah! Holy shit. He went right through the fucking table. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Run, Trumpy, run. Fuck. Come here, you fucking bastard. God damn it, my fucking table. That was fucking savage. Is that thing true about Michelle not having any pictures of her being pregnant? I don't know, bro. I'm too afraid to know honestly. Mao, well, looks like we won already. Want me to help you clean up before your mom gets home? Yeah, bro, thanks. I appreciate it. Anytime, bro.